Yo, what is up people? It is your boy Sneebles right here. As always, back for another episode of course of High on Life and it's part nine. Now I say this all the time but I always forget which part I'm on, but I think it is nine. But anyways, on to that. Um yeah, awesome game it has been so far. Of course, um with uh, the last boss we did was the Screndel Brothers, is it what they're called? Uh, but now, um, obviously it says up there, meet, meet Tweet. Yeah, we've already met Tweet, uh, which is the boyfriend, of course, of our sister, basically in the game. Um, of course, we've got to explore worlds or start the next bounty. Um, I might have a little exploration right now. Quickly do that, um, just have a little look around, um, of this one anyway, see if there's any more of those things we could collect. Um, just gonna have a little walk around anyway, so I might not include in the video, but yeah, I'll just have a little walk around and then we'll get on to the next bounty. Um, so, uh, but yeah, like I said, did Scrindle Brothers in the last episode, and um, that was all cool, obviously, you know, it was a, a tough one, um, to be honest, but we managed to do it, only took us two tries, which is good. Um, so, uh, but yeah, so I'm uh, honestly I'm enjoying this game. This game's awesome. So I hope you guys, of course, are as well. And uh, yeah, you know whether you're playing it yourself or just watching in general. So, but yeah, so let's go ahead with it anyways. Let's see what we can do, and hopefully for another successful part in this journey on High on Life. Oh hey hey, uh, I know I look like uh, I'm one of those G3 guys, but I am not in the G3. I'm like one of the few people of my species who did not join the G3. I'm we, we call ourselves Merkeloids or Merkelids or what? I, can't, I literally can't remember the name of our species, huh. but that's fine. I, it's not important. We're we're literally cannon fodder. That's kind of what our species is. So everyone gets pressured into to joining the G3 and then they get killed. It sucks, and I don't want to be one of those one of those dead cannon fodder types. I want to live my life. I'm not going to be peer pressured into joining a criminal organization. No way. I'm going to go hang out here in Blim City. But guess what? People are a little racist towards me because of all all the other people in my species are working for an evil organization. So now I got to deal with discrimination. If you can believe it, that sucks. It's not fun. Discrimination's not good. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Don't <laughs> discrimination sucks. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Maybe I'll have more to say if you come back. Uh. Weird. Okay, let's start our next bounty hunter. Let's see what we can do. We've got Doctor Giblets. All right, here's the skinny. Oh. You're all gonna need some major firepower if you really plan to take on Gamantuous. What? More, more than we already have? Uh, our team is mostly guns. Trust me, we need this. Plug sent over the details on an extremely powerful Gatlian. Oh shit! Another Gatlian. That's right. Supposedly is in the possession of another G3 officer, a scientist named Dr. John Giblets. And guess what? I can't find shit on him. I don't even know where he is. Okay, so what do we do? We do it the old-fashioned way and ask around. Maybe we find out his coordinates and warp him in. I'm sending you to Blim to gather intel. I don't know. I'm fucking tired, kid. Maybe you'll appreciate me more if you do my job. Okay, Gene, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll try to find him ourselves. All right. Skip the portal door and just head out into Blim. Oh, and before you go, you might need a little extra help. I went ahead and unlocked a new feature on your bounty suit. You're welcome. Okay. Hey there, Detective bounty hunter. Mode. It's me, Sudo, again. I'm still here. I've been here the whole time. Welcome to detective mode. I'm here to help you sleuth out all those really big, crazy mysteries. Suddenly? With the fucking detective mode? Why, why haven't we had access to this the whole time? All right, let's see. It looks like you're looking for a... Dr. John Giblets. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Let me do a quick search for you. This will solve it immediately, and... No matches found. Oh, well, it's never that easy. Why don't you start by interrogating the locals? Okay, I figured it out. This thing's fucking useless. Thanks, Gene. All right, so we've got to talk to Blim residents, conduct a full investigation. Right, let's go do that. Then. <laughs> All right. Is there anyone? Hey, uh, did, did you know anything about Dr. Giblets? What are you talking about? Hey there, it's me, Sudo. Looks like you're trying to interrogate a suspect. Let's ask them some questions. Okay, what were you doing last night? Do I look nervous? <laughs> oh, jeez, you're making me nervous with this interrogation. Alright. I really 
really sorry. I don't know who that is. But <laughs> good luck, I guess. Hope you find them. What? Why do you care? If you must know, I ate 15 whole sandwiches. And yes, I regret it. I don't know why I ate that many. Am I... What? What is it with you and this Dr. Giblets guy? My name's Craig, and I'm really sick from eating a lot of sandwiches. Craig. Leave me alone. Fucking crazy. Woof, they didn't know anything. That was a real D rank interrogation. Sorry. Oh well, maybe you could just find more people to interrogate. Seriously? You'll get it next time. I got a rank for that. What about you? Hey, uh, hey tough guy, we're we're looking for a Dr. Giblets. You got you got any leads? Slick. What the fuck are you talking like that for? Oh, Jesus Christ, leave me alone. Um My whole deal. Like, who am I? What do I do? Well, my name's Jackie T. Pooperton, and what I do is tell you to fuck off. Alright. What the, the drug guys? No! I don't have any fucking ties to the evil drug conglomerate. I'm a normal person trying to live a normal life in the sea. Why in the fuck would I have any ties to the GP? Um, alright. I don't know, and I don't give a shit. I'm busy. You need anything else or can I fucking go? How are you doing? Like with your weird interrogation? Awful! Annoying! I wish you'd stop! Ooh, bummer, they were a tough cookie. Well, it's like but they were telling the truth according well. to my sensors, so let's say that was a C rank interrogation. Oh, right, Better luck next time, let's look for somebody else. Oh, whoops, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> this is the trial version of detective mode. So there's going to be ads. You love ads. This will be worth it, I promise. Hey, uh, do, do you mind if we have a moment of your time? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, what's this about, can I ask? Okay. Um... <laughs> Shh, hey, quiet. Don't say his name so loud. I can't help you, but Blordo can. Mention my name, Michael Taint. Then he'll talk. No cracks about my name. Uh, yeah. Everyone knows about the G3. It's just we shouldn't be talking about him in broad daylight like this, you know? I was playing snooker with Blordo. Yeah, he's really bad at it, so I won a few hundred pesos. It was a great night. Hey, thanks for asking about my night, pal. It was nice of you. You take an interest in people. That's admirable. Oh, excuse well, me, guys. Sure. Yeah, I, I don't really have any more issue with accepting a bribe. It sounds like a win-win, actually. I get money, you get info. But uh, come to think of it, the G3 will kill me. So, uh, how about no? Holy shit. Wow, you, we actually got something we can use. Okay, woo -hoo. That was an A-rank interrogation. Good for you. Let's head over to Blurdo and mention Michael Taint. Yo, Bounty Hunter, come see what I've got in stock on the food menu. All right, so back to this guy. Hey, what's up, Blurdo? You know anything about a, a, a where we could find a guy named Jib, Dr. Giblets? Whoa, 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 where'd you hear that name? You can't just go asking around town for a guy like that. What? Why? What, what, what's wrong with asking about Dr. Giblets? I don't know. Why do you think I know anything about Dr. Giblets? I don't know nothing. Now buy something or beat it, buster. Ah, oh, that piece of shit. I'm gonna kill him. Look, if you're really looking for trouble, maybe check out the new High on Life store in the slums. The Hyperbong 6 Midnight Lodge is tonight, but you should be able to get in by now. Just don't mention my name. I didn't say nothing. Now get out of here. If anyone sees me talking here, I'm dead. Thanks, Blordo. We, we had a good feeling you were a true pal. Okay. Whoa, great sleuthing, detectives. That was an S rank interrogation. Oh, Jesus. Why did you. Hey, this is my favorite VIP. Hey, you don't have to wait through any of this funny business. You are allowed right in, my friend. Yeah, you better. Head straight through. I don't want jerks like you hanging around. Shit, thank you. Right. Cool. <clears throat> okay.
Hello. Okay, so we're looking for this new high on life oh, yeah, store. Hey, hey, Hopefully yeah. the slums are a little uh, more again, chill now that we took out Nine like Torg. It. Nobody wants to talk hey, to us like you heard that. you were yeah. asking around for giblets. Well, the Torgs are with the G3 now, so it's best not to stick your nose where, where it don't. Wait. Oh shit! It's you! The bounty hunter's back! Oh, fucking goddammit! It's the bounty Mate, this guy. Oh, jeez. I didn't even see that, to be honest. Oh shit, oh shit. Consider that an early retirement. The G3 payroll must be fucking a million miles long, I mean, Jesus. Oh, shit. That was a sniper. Dude, that wall was hitting me Honestly, I prefer this gun more than the other guns. I really do. Be free, little humans! Be free! Oh, save them. Shit, they just keep coming! Use my 
Checking in all these humans. I don't want it. I didn't mean to. <clears throat> no, I don't. <clears throat> oh, got another one of these. Building the stars to number six, abandoned by Flippy. If you want to read that, just obviously read that. Okay, cool. We found ourselves outside the high on life, see? What's the big deal? Why was it attracting the crowd? So many questions. Thank God. I'm asking them for real. I was not paying attention. Uh, weird. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's see what they want. Okay. Okay. Nobody cut me, or I will scream. I can scream real, real, real. Hey, don't worry. Detectives can always screaming. cut lines. The rules do not apply to the law. <clears throat> I need the new hyperbong. You don't understand. This isn't like a consumer loyalty thing. It's more like uh, I'm addicted to drugs. Welcome to High on Life Store number 7923, your local hyperbong superstore. Please, no trampling of other patrons during the midnight launch. Okay. Well, well, well. I smell another mystery. I'm Pseudo, by the way. You know me. Hi, Pseudo. I'm a detective now. Yeah, you already know what I'm gonna say. Try interrogating all the employees here. Well, that's a great idea. You're an even better detective than me. Okay. Hello, and welcome to High on Life. <clears throat> How can High on Life help you today? Uh... Um... High on Life employees are not authorized to admit that we have ties to the criminal organization known as the G3, but can I offer you membership in our High on Life care program? Um... Great question. Thanks so much for your interest. We sell Lost Hyperbong questions anyways. Hyperbong accessories. The latest model, the Hyperbong 6, is even capable of smoking humans. That's right. That hot new species you've been hearing about. High on life Hyperbongs are the <coughs> only way to get that fix. Illegal? No, 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 not in any real sense. You must be reading some of our detractors on the internet or watching too many Clug Nugman speeches. Hyperbongs are totally humane and of no harm to anybody except the creatures you smoke in them. We actually prefer not to call it the slums. This is an exciting new up and coming part of town that we hope will attract a youthful new demographic ready to spend their hard earned money on quality products. Speaking of which, can I interest you in a Hyperbong 6? Woo, these are some tough nuts to crack. Don't lose motivation, you're doing great. But you do get a D ranking, because that one sucked. Why am I getting a ranking, you know? That's all she Holy shit, this is a madhouse. Oh, 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 sorry. Hi, thanks for shopping at High on Life. I'm the manager here. Are, are you finding everything okay? Uh... That's right, it's a big day. I didn't think there'd be this many people lining up to buy hyper bongs. Probably a bad sign for our city. Okay. Huh? Nah. I think they're probably bad for society overall, you know? I mean, uh, I don't have a problem with drugs in general, but hyperbongs are like, the drugs are living creatures and they die, and that seems a little fucked up, right? But hey, I'm the manager at the store that sells hyperbongs. I probably shouldn't be saying stuff oh, like that. It's hypocritical, it's weird. I don't know. I'm just here. Okay. I'm just here. Oh, man, <clears throat> this again. Look, man. I just work here. I don't know anything about the store or who built it. Or I'm, I'm kind of a fuck up. I lied on my resume. I got this manager gig. I never even met Dr. Giblets. I, I don't know what he looks like. I couldn't even point him out in a crowd. Slow down there, Slick. You're saying you know Dr. Giblets? Yeah, yeah, sure I do. He owns this place. He never comes around, though. I don't really know where he is. What? I told you. I have no idea where he is. And you're being really aggressive. Leave me alone. It's super fucking busy right now, and you're distracting the hell out of me. Okay, shit, not not so good. But looks like we uh, hit, a, hit a dead end. So let's get the fuck out of here and just give up on being detectives. It's all done now. Uh, okay. Wait, what? Uh, uh, <coughs> uh, uh, hello, hello, and welcome, welcome to High on Life. I'm Derek, and I can be a personal uh, High on Life uh, prof professional today. 
Um, th- th- that makes sense, right? That does that sound okay? I'm I'm new here. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Me? Oh, no, no, I'm, uh, I'm straight edge. I don't even like thinking about drugs. This job was, uh, oh, it was a bad idea for me, probably. God, I'd really love to help you because you look very cool. But no, sorry, I, I have no clue. Hey, hey, it's my first day. Uh, can you do me a favor and not to mention Dr. Giblets around here? They told us not to talk about him. Oh, no, it's okay, I guess. Uh, it's the big Hyperbond 6 Midnight Lunch, and we literally just opened. So uh, i only been here for, like, half an hour. And honestly, okay, yeah, it kind of sucks so far because, like, I can already feel my soul leaving my body. Okay. Well, probably can talk to more, but... It... Nice day for a shopping trip, ain't it? It sure is. I know I'd go shopping on a day like this. Except this wannabe bounty hunter doesn't seem to be shopping. That's right. Seems like they're poking their beak where I don't belong. Be a shame if something happened to your beak as a result if you catch our drift. Just when things start to look all rosy, two knucklehead lungs showed up to hassle us. You got a fresh mouth on you, kid. Be a shame if something happened to that mouth as a result. Part of my associate here, he's only got one good fat, but I assure you, he can back it up. That's right. A word to the wise. Stay out of this. Got it? We've got this covered. You get to meet a lot of cool, silly people when you're a detective. Sometimes they even do the same kind of voice as you. Everyone should be a detective. <laughs> Okay. Holy shit, what, what the fuck? Was, was this guy trampled to death? Uh, yeah. My friend Davy Glutes uh, got trampled in the rush. Pretty sad, right? One moment he was there, next he's gone. <laughs> Squashed. I'm not trying to laugh at this, but it's just the way they're talking. Oh, That's funny as fuck. Well. Take his bag boots, it's not a problem. He was a really bad guy. Like morally. Okay, make boots, alright, and achievements as well. Um, daily glutes. A lot of people think make boots is short for. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Totally take those mag boots. Mag boots. Okay, look, I know this is a little uh, fucked, but these boots are gonna be very useful, and and they're the only way out of here. What well, you know? Hey, sick moon! You're making good use of those mag boots. You're using those things way better than daily boots ever did. Look at you! Okay. Oh, I can stop, I can. Hey there, you can do it Oh, why was that attack around me then? again no worry they're cool we've been observing you hope that don't rustle your jimmy's not because newsflash buckos we're on your side we'd like to formally apologize for how we treated you earlier we didn't realize who we were dealing with you'll have to forgive us and we're sorry we still sound like we're intimidating you it's the only way we know how to talk our wives hate us 
Okay. Uh, uh, uh. We represent Magistrate Clug Nugman. Maybe you've heard of him. He's certainly heard of you. Okay. Here's the skinny slim. The Torg family, or what's left of it anyway. They got mixed up with a bad crowd. The G3 cartel. Or more specifically, Dr. John Giblet's PhD. And Clug wants it squashed pronto. He says you're the right bounty hunter for the job. Says you're already helping him. Says the G3 is our common enemy. We've got a lead on Dr. Giblet's. He's been whooping all over, leaving behind a nice little warp trail for us. We're thinking you can follow those breadcrumbs all the way to the gingerbread house. That way Clug don't have to get his two little hands dirty. You dig? Yeah. This kid's fast. Yeah, check out Dale Earnhardt Jr. over here. Let's say somebody dies. Maybe, hypothetically, their name is Dr. Giblets. Well, should anything like that happen, we had nothing to do with it. We didn't even mention it. This conversation never happened. And Clug will be very grateful. Speaking of which, why don't you follow us? Clug wants to speak in person. Huh, all right, let's, let's go talk to Clug. Okay, let's talk to Clug. Welcome back. Thank you so much for all your help. Yeah, they've been aces. Yeah, real pros. Hey, Clug. <laughs> Sorry about those two. They can be a bit intense. Really, I don't know why they talk like that. But look, you've seriously done so much for me. I hate to ask for anything else, but this election is really close. And, well, keeping the G3 out of Blim, it's really going to help me lock this in. Do you think you could, you know, deal with... Dr. Giblets? Well, yeah, no, I mean, we, that's what, that's what we want to do, you know, yeah. but uh, it's just the trail went dead. A dead end? Oh no, we can't have that. Let me just leave this map data right here on my desk, not sure what might be on it. Oh, that's how we get to Dr. Giblets? Whoa, whoa, even if this map data did take you to Dr. Giblets, we're not 100% sure it would be his actual base. You'll still need to do some detective work. Fuck yeah. All right, then we just kick the door down, burst our way in there, find him, grab him by the neck. Hey, hey, hey. I can't officially tell you to do that. Not if I want to win this next election, at least. <laughs> Good luck out there, bounty hunter. Uh, we will do our best. Find okay. us that fucking Dr. Giblets piece of shit. You're doing great work. Okay. All right. Cool. Magistrate Clug came through. He pointed us right to Dr. Giblets. That's great. I'm oh, kind of regretting not voting for him. Now get out there and kill Giblets. All right. Use the portals to have up the bounty hunter to explore previous At night, when the mask is off, I look at myself. Okay. I may make the world think I'm dead, but I can't hide the truth myself. Whatever happens, I must go on acting, acting, acting. <laughs> okay, so we have to go over here, up a valley. Yes, I have tried everything. Okay. Don't be here before the end of this week. There we go. Killing these weak fucks doesn't do anything for me. developed in a sort of weird way over here. 
Welcome to Highway Village. Our currency here is tires, and we sacrifice our younglings to the Lord Asphaltia, High God of the Way. All right. Okay. Hello, friend. My old life was flawed. Now I live the way of the highway. <clears throat> okay. Hey, I'm the youngest one left alive. That means they're gonna sacrifice me to Lord Asphalt to you tomorrow. I'm not too excited about it, to be honest, actually. Okay. for this gun. Thank you. 
Okay, so I'm going to end that episode right there on that little cliffhanger there. Uh, so we just got to probably the area where Mr. Giblets is going to be. But yeah, I'm going to leave it on that. I've got no more time uh, to continue. So yeah, a bit of a sad ending there uh, to see that little mop lip. But yeah, it is what it is. So <laughs> I hope you guys, of course, enjoyed as always. And uh, yeah, leave a like, of course, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in that next episode where, like I said, we should be. On to Dr. Giblets in the next one. So, as always, take care and peace.